we all die to feel life in every breath, in every cup of tea, in every life that we take. This is the warrior's path. Bushido. Mirko Krokop and Mark Hunt are those rare old school fighters who fight to this day. Although behind the backs of each of their fantastic careers of 20 years long, during which they personally built the history of kickboxing. Hunt made his professional boxing debut in 1998. Krokop fought for the first time in kickboxing in 1996. By 2002, Mark had already switched to kickboxing for a long time and even had the World's Grand Prix in kickboxing. But even with this, not everyone puts him in line with stars such as Peter Arts, Ernesto Hoost, and the late Andy Hugh. But the athletic Mirko Kroka, with the appearance of an action hero, did not leave the covers of magazines, even if he did not win the title. Mirko had a much more complex character in contrast to the good-natured Hunt, and not everyone could find a common language with him. At the end in 2006, they met in the ring at a kickboxing tournament. An excerpt from Mark Hunt's biography. There was a press conference with a group photo before the tournament. I was happy to be able to stand with these famous fighters until someone's hefty paws deliberately didn't leave me standing behind. And in the end, I was not visible in the photo. The hint was clear. I was not one of them. It was like I was back in elementary school with my face turned red. I looked over the top of that hand and saw that I was next to a healthy, skin-headed crow named Mirko Filipovich, known as Krokop, a nickname received while serving in his country's elite anti-terrorist unit. Krokop's antics meant that he considered me to be just an annoying regional guy, not one of the tough guys not part of the group. I wanted to deal with him. I was extremely angry because I was not then in the right shape for this. Hunt enters to the sound of some rap music by a New Zealand MC. Crow Cop enters seriously. As always in kickboxing, the gym is full. You should definitely not expect a simple, brutal fight from these guys. The academic technique of Mirko will not allow this, and Hunt is already too experienced to bet on his blood. Constant pressing and pressure is the hallmark of Mark Hunt. But the Croat moves well, defends competently, does not forget to answer, and constantly keeps the opponent in suspense. Gorgeous robot Mirko, good high kick. He tries to punish the opponent for mistakes. Round behind Horvath, and in this round, the high kick of death misfired. Side kick from Mirko. The left to the body from Crow Cop's right hook passed. Great job. Horvath throws another high kick and does not stop attacking after this blow. In our time, it is difficult to find such a fast, athletic heavyweight. Mirko squeezed Hunt in the corner and throws a lot of good hits. But Hun is an experienced fighter and responds to aggression with aggression. The second round is over and it ended with Mirko's even greater advantage. It seems like Mark has to change something in his fight plan. Krokop hits the bot, but Mark responds with a low kick. In round three, Hunt began to press even more, and Mirko, on the contrary, began to carefully select his hits, aim, and this is not good. 
a good combination from the Crow and his powerful high kick, and something truly incredible happened. Mark Hunt gets up after a powerful left high kick from Crow Cup, something that no one else in the Crow's career has done. Just take a look at the face of Hunt. It is immediately clear that he is not so easy to defeat. You need something big to snatch victory from him. A devastating round for Hunt, but in the end, he won a moral victory by standing up after an exact hit and showing decent resistance after that. Mark Hunt aggressively started the fourth round, intending to change the course of the fight, but Mirko weakened a little. He punched his most powerful punches, and they did not affect. This round seemed much closer. Another powerful low kick from Kroka Hunt presses again and doesn't give Mirko a second to relax. The right hook flies into Mark's head, but only makes him laugh. Something more is needed to knock this fight down. The fight is over, and you don't need to be a judge to understand who won. The domination of Mirko Krokop was total, but still, Horvath didn't realize that Hunt was not an annoying regional fighter, but one of them. Part of the great pantheon of kickboxing gods. After this fight, these fighters didn't meet for almost four years. During these four years, Mirko Krokop fought 22 fights including the legendary fights with Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira and Fader Emelianenko. And Hunt could boast of only three fights, of which he won only two, but a decision victory over Vanderlei Silva allowed Hunt to enter a loud match. And Mirko Kroka, the star of that era, agreed to this rematch. This is how these titans came together in the ring once again. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to press thumbs up on it, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments, and I, in turn, will try to show you even more striking fights. We'll see you in the ring.